Hi guys, welcome back. Today in this EA Weekend video series, we are going to talk about test projects artificial intelligence. So we have been talking about artificial intelligence in testing for a pretty long time right now. I guess two years before we talked about artificial intelligence in test automation with few tools like Testim and Mabel and also we talked about uh, some of the AI based capabilities which is coming soon in test project like last year. But the actual artificial intelligence is not really happening in the industry. I mean a lot of companies started to build those uh, capabilities but we have not really seen any solid AI based capability coming to the market so far. And today the one which we're talking about the artificial intelligence in test project from test project is actually one of the way which resolves the most uh, maybe the outstanding issue with the test automation fragility which is the UI based uh, application which is always mostly fragile something like if an element changes then probably the UI will break or maybe if there is any uh, issue with the applications uh, locations or locators within the application then there will be a rework for the test engineer to go back and do those fixes so these are some of the issues that we almost all the time facing and we need to keep maintaining those object repository of the UI to be always up to date based on the application changes. So this was one of the most nagging issue and this is where these artificial intelligence based company are always calling themselves as the machine learning or artificial intelligence based application being developed to automate those applications for us. I mean we have not really seen a solid capabilities coming through so far. I mean, if we try to break the application, it is actually breaking. I mean, the artificial intelligence is actually breaking to uh, perform those action. And there are many reasons for that. I mean, we don't really have to talk about it. Maybe even I don't really have those understanding. So I don't really want to give a lot of thought about it. But today, the capability that we are going to basically see is the AI capability in test projects. I mean, test project has really been working on the AI capabilities and this feature which the team has released itself is something an AI based capability but it is not like a machine learning or maybe the neural processing engine something like that they never called anything like that they said it is an AI based capability on their uh, application which actually tried to resolve some of the most problems uh, or problematic issues with the UI itself like if there is any UI being changed or broken, then they try to fix it easily using their capabilities. I mean, we'll look into all those things in this particular uh, EA Weekend video series and we'll uh, see how uh, capable the uh, AI of test project itself is and we'll see how to um, actually try breaking the application and how the AI capability of test project will try to fix those problems uh, very easily, something like that. Basically, we already tried the breaking of application itself in the AI like two years before, I guess two and a half years before right now uh, using Mabel and it was working fine. And uh, we tried breaking in other way, it was not working fine that much. But we will see the same kind of testing, same application after two and a half years. We see how test project can really handle this capability and that too for free. So the Mabel and the uh, uh, test team, they are they're like a proprietary softwares and you need to purchase the licensings but here it's completely free so let's see how it actually works so for that we'll jump into my machine and we'll see how it works all right so now i'm in my machine and we are going to automate this ea app.sami.com website which we have been using for many of my courses as well as in youtube video discussions and this is the application we'll try to see if we could able to automate it and we'll see what if this application's element changes and how test projects can gracefully handle that? So if you could see that this application is already been deployed in my EA app or SOMI.com uh, domain, the hosting domain, and this is where I can actually change my application's code if I want to. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna first record this application from test projects platform, and then we'll see how it actually works. And one of the most important thing that you need to remember is you need to update the test projects agent. So please try to update the test project agent before actually using 
the artificial intelligence capability because you need to update that that's the important thing on the uh, test projects platform uh, requirement as well so you need to update to use the latest and the greatest capabilities of test projects ai capabilities if not you may not see the capability working as expected all right the first thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to start creating the new test over here but make sure that you have already signed in on the test projects platform if not please sign up it's completely free and then you can start working from there and i'm going to create a new test and before that i have already created a new project which is nothing but the demo project and i'm creating a new test from here and i'm going to choose the web and i'm going to call this test as ai uh, test and then i'm going to hit next and i'm going to choose the application just nothing but the eaapp.sami.com i have already added as a new application within my platform that's the reason i could be able to see this guy pretty instantly and i'm going to start recording from here so I'm going to use the uh, new recorder, not the legacy recorder that you saw there before, because the new recorder is the one with the AI capabilities. The legacy recorder is the recorder that we were using all these days uh, before this new recorder was in place. So this is the new test projects capability that we are going to be discussing in this particular video. There we go. So this is the new recorder from test project team they built, and it is kind of very neat and very very handy and looks pretty uh, decent this time compared to the earlier legacy version of the uh, test project recorder so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a basic flow of recording here so i'm just going to hit login and i'm going to enter the admin as username password as password i'm going to hit login go to the employee list and i'm going to create a new user so i'm going to call this as uh, maybe auto ai user and his salary maybe 20,000 duration of work is uh, 40 it's great and uh, auto ai at ai.com that's his email id i'm gonna hit create so every time i perform any action you can see that everything is being recorded here which is pretty good now i'm just gonna delete the auto ai uh, user and i'm gonna hit the delete over here and i'm going to log off that's it. So this is the super simple recording, which I used to do most of the time. So even if the same thing you can do in the Selenium IDE, it works pretty fine without any problem. But that's not the A capability that we are talking in here. We'll talk it later in a matter of second, but let me run this test and see how it actually works. There we go. You can see that it works pretty charming without any problem. I mean, that's the capability of test project. Everything's looking pretty good. So we already know that this is going to work without any problem in test project. So that's all good right now. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to rip this application a bit and then I will see if the test project's AI capability is going to work fine or not. And I will show you how the AI capability of test project actually works behind the scene. But before that, let me just show you uh, what changes that I'm going to make into this application. So you can see the application that I have right now uh, has an ID uh, of, uh, if I go to the, uh, to the app over here, and if I log in, and if I see the name of this particular uh, employee, you can see that the name is actually name, uh, and uh, the ID is name itself. And if I go and see the salary here, the name of the salary uh, field is uh, salary and the ID is salary. Similarly, department worked great and email because it's an MVC based application. It automatically generates the name and ID if you don't really pass them one. But what I'm going to do this time is I have written this application myself. So I have the source code of this application. It is also available in the GitHub if you want to use it. So all you have to do is you just have to add your own custom namings and IDs like that. So I'm just going to change the name as name one, and, uh, ID as name one like that. Similarly for the salary one and the duration work like that. So if I do a changes uh, for these uh, uh, controls and if we make this test to run for sure in Selenium, this is not going to work. If you have identified using its name, if you are identified using its uh, ID, then it's not going to work as well. But this will work if you have an XPath or maybe it's a neighbor uh, item, something like that. Uh, but I'm just going to see how this capability is going to be working with test project itself. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this folder in the file explorer and I have this particular application over here. 
and let me go to the uh, file manager here i know this is sitting in the uh, employee uh, folder oops seems like i have lost my authentication there so let me go to the view again to the employee uh, and i have the create so let me just download this guy just like a backup probably and i'm going to upload the file and see how it actually breaks so for that let me just copy uh, the uh, path and if i just try to upload this and if i just upload the file so you can see that the file has been uploaded and now you can see that once i refresh this application on the hosting site it will just go and contact the IIS server which is running over there and now you can see that the element has been completely jeopardized it's because of the element has been completely changed we just replaced it and you can see that the name this time has a name but the id is like name one Similarly, if you see the salary, it has the ID of uh, salary one, I guess. Uh, and similarly for the duration work. And even the control has lost its CSS capabilities because I have just jeopardized that. I've just modified that particular element completely. And we'll see if this particular application's uh, element is being identified by the test project and it works as expected. So for that, I'm gonna go back to our test projects platform this time. And I will click this guy over here and if i try to run this test we will see how it actually works i'm just going to hit this record all right so now we have our test project recorder up and running so let me run the test and see how the test project is going to handle the ui element changes so you can see that now it has went to this create new but do you see that it entered the auto ai user pretty instantly uh, I mean, it could be able to find it so quickly, but for the salary, it is just waiting for the element to be identified. Uh, so it's waiting for the AI capabilities of test project to resolve it. And somehow it identified the element, I guess. It could be able to type there you know, on the salary. I mean, just click that on the salary. And now it's gonna try to uh, enter some value there. I mean, for the first time it will be slow, but for the second time it's gonna be fast. Did you see that it just entered the value uh, 20,000 there? and uh, it also says that step 12 was self-healed by test project ai and it will be faster next time which is pretty cool it tells us some information there that it's been self-healed so now you can see that the test project ai tells us that the ai has found uh, better locators like the salary has been changed and the name uh, so the hash salary, which is the ID salary is not found. And that's why we're going to use the name as salary. Similarly, the duration work was not found, uh, in ID rather the name was found. And I'm going to use this one right now, which is pretty cool. So if I just confirm it right now, test project is going to make the changes behind the scene. And now if I run the test next time, you can see that the same test is going to be super fast as like the normal test that it does which is pretty cool. So this is another AI capability that I was talking about. And in order to break this, I mean, in order to make the test project to fail, if you want to, let's say the duration worked as well, we can go and see what is the element which it has uh, is found, which is like duration worked over here. So if I want to maybe just rename that from the duration worked uh, uh, like that, like the CSS element as duration worked one over here, and even if I want to change the X path, something very, very random like that, nobody's going to do like this. Uh, if I just save it, and if I try to run this test right now, I mean, we just broke it, uh, broke the element locators intentionally right now, but you can see that test project will self, try to self heal the locator by going through each and every element it could be able to uh, locate. If it couldn't be able to uh, locate, it will just do a failover to the next element which it can able to identify. You can see the duration worked worked and that's why it could able to identify that, which is pretty cool. So now it tells us that this duration worked one is also not working for the CSS locator. Uh, can we just use the X path this one, which is looking promising this time. So if I confirm that next time, it is gonna identify using that locator. So this is one of the coolest capability of test project. And I think that this capability can really be a game changer at least not in complete AI at uh, the moment, like machine learning or something like that, but it is doing some of the capabilities of self-healing for us to fix those problems. 
So now you have actually seen how TestProject is actually working with the capability of its locators uh, being identified by having multiple locator strategy in that particular platform and it also could able to resolve the issue if one locator fails then it fall overs to the next locator tries to identify that and if that fails as well then it fall overs to the next locator and then it try to see if that can be identified using that particular matching locators. I mean you can now also add your own locators if you want if you feel that this is these locator that the test project platform has grabbed itself is not enough then probably you have to update that uh, as well you have the capability of adding that up as well uh, within the test project platform and these things are really good I mean if you have all these capabilities in place you can easily do the uh, automation without having it more fragile something like that it is really really cool so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and meet you in our next ea weekend video series thank you